Oh, go on with people. Oh, go on. Um, please, people, may I ask you to subscribe because every minute Instagram black black people from go live. Once you talk something with them, not like them set up certain words in them algorithm. And once you say the word or type the word, them penalize you by blocking you from go live. Or, or block your budgies where you can't make the money, or, you know? So. We have a uh, first thing more I say. In other words, of Bob Marley, him say, you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool all the people all the time. This thing about this cult past has been going on for days now. And it has exposed a lot of things, a lot of corruption. Now, earlier, I made up on my Instagram and a woman comment and said, um, Yeah, me, me feel for that now because I did afraid. We're not afraid of not a picker in our situation. But as somebody with a high IQ and somebody very intelligent, you must be observant. You must allow time to play out. See? It wasn't the right time to speak. You understand? And right now, this power up this morning, I can't help it. I have to talk. Now, first things, we're not jumping to this morning first. We're going to start from the inception of the situation, right? From the beginning story. The beginning story is police raided the church. Upon reaching the church, the police officers were fired upon. They have to return fire and kill Smadi. When they got inside of the church, two people were already dead inside. So the whole scene compromised. This is now a fully illegal scene. We have two fresh dead bodies in here. Plus, we have to kill one or shoot and the police. That alone warrants everybody in the forget lock up and charge for murder. See? Everybody in the lock up and charge for murder. Not lock up and detain on suspicion. This is not suspicion. You are in the vicinity. You are there. When the murder commit, it's obvious these persons died in your presence. And none of uno no call police. None of uno never run out. None of uno never in the way come catch on a flat footed. And then somebody from inside fire shot pan police outside. So that's shooting with intent. Illegal possession of firearm, ammunition, everything. So, the process of which the police, them are dealing with that case here, already phony from the beginning. Because, how is it so much days after this pastor is still not charged? When he is the owner of the establishment, he was present at the time of the activities. See? One. And if you're not there at your premises, you have to be accountable for what takes place on your premises. Secondly, he was there. You were present. See? You were present when them two people are dead in there. You're dead there. We can't hold you in there. So why weren't you charged all this time? Anyway... Make pre videos and photographs that I have obtained prove to us uh, whatever was happening in there, the service, the ritual, whatever you call it, when the woman throat gets slashed, was recorded. 
Because people are seem to forget the part here. Yeah. It was recorded. The police them confiscate camera. The camera them set up on tripod. It was a televised. It was it was a recorded act of events. I don't know if you got that. It was recorded. The police them confiscated the camera them pan tripod and uh, look a phone alone and did a video and them something. There. That means every single person who was inside of that service knew what kind of behavior to can in us off. Remember you know. He's not a man who just want to get up and jump up and live and talk to get views and them things. YouTube now pay my bills. God bless the little chupins to come out for YouTube. But I have to open the people them eye because sometimes it look like the people them blind. No. One magic question I'm not hear nobody ask. See? I'm not hear nobody ask that question. How long has this been going on? Remember the police them running in on this particular day. This man has been operating this church for a long time. So obviously, based on where we see a going, this man is just somebody who get caught. And get caught at this moment. Okay. Brain. Thought process. Thinking out loud. If the police officers did not run into this property, say the police never hear what go on and nothing will go on. What would happen to those two bodies of the people that did murder in there? A church that keep the next day you know, or Sunday. You know. Next question. How long has these members been keeping these secrets of these atrocities? That means this pastor have something set up, a systematic thing set up. So when they kill the people, them, them have people who come get rid of the body. Them have people who clean up the church. Them have people who put about the knife. Them and everything. Remember, there were 11 kids in there. How much of those kids were abducted? How much of those kids belong to other people? Oh, we not hear nothing about the pitney them. Oh, we don't know how to tell we. Okay, 11 kids. One named Jonathan Jones. One named Peter Abrams. His parents is from where? Where are these kids from? Where are these 11 kids now? What's the story behind these 11 kids? Are there kids that have been abducted that people can't find? Because the whole of we are running down that big question that happened today, you know. It's leading up to these events. Who are these 11 kids? Why are we not seeing photographs of these 11 kids that people can see if none of them missing kids are involved in these 11 kids? Why are these things being kept a secret? It doesn't matter if an investigation is being going on. There were 11 kids a part of this sacrificial ritual and people have missing kids out there. Every day I see a picture missing. Please help me find. But yet still, the police, the, the police don't give us these 11 kids and said, look, if any of these kids you know are you related to? Are you recognize any of these kids? People more want to tell me if I attack rubbish. You know. Even now, the police force, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Miss Lindsay, the Commissioner of Police, has not disclosed to us who are these 11 kids. Before we even go into the alleged death of this man let's react to this there were how much people there right but 11 kids 11 kids is not a little bit of kids that you know are these abducted children are these kids 
Were these kids there with their parents? Are they abducted? Are they orphans? Are they from children's home? Are they from Maxfield Park? Where are these kids from? Why isn't these kids' identities made public to the nation? What become of the kids them? Where them there? These 11 kids, where are they? Who are they? That's the bigger question. Who are they? Because people tend to hear them, they know them use one thing, make we figure out the next thing, make we figure out the next thing. Because they use one thing and overshadow the next thing. Come like when an artist I put out song, I kill the next song and I kill the next song. Where are these 11 kids? We are supposed to get 11 pictures of these kids that were found who witnessed these sacrificial murders. We supposed to know, say, all right, any parent out there who is missing a child, look at these 11 kids and tell us if any of them are your kids because those could amount to additional charges for this pastor or the members of his congregation. Because if you read the place, and when you read the place, two people are already dead in there, and multiple other people injured with stab wounds and stuff like that, that means who do the stabbing in there, who do the killing in there, the witnesses of the murders when I say nothing in there, everybody is accomplice to murder. So nobody not supposed to get sent home without being charged. So from right, there's a corruption there. And the big question is, how many people have died in this place before the police get a hold of this situation? How much years out of sacrificial sacrifice have been going on? Can I, I can't. The first day they might do it, police run in. Nope. And where are those bodies? Where are those people? Where's the investigation into how much time, how much people missing? There were 11 kids. Allegedly, based upon the police, them, there were 11 kids. Who are these 11 kids? Mr. Commissioner, Miss Lindsay, please, we need clarification. Who are these 11 kids? Now, don't know if you remember the Epstein story where the police catch up on Epstein and Epstein threatened for well, he did call a couple names. Um, the allegations are that he mentioned um, Queen Elizabeth's son. He mentioned whole heap of high-level people in America. And him just accidentally commit suicide in a jail cell and dead. You know? So that story kind of followed through with that kind of something that happened this morning. But the big question is, this cannot be the first time them are murder people in another church yeah? and the police just lucky to catch them the first time them are do it. I, I don't believe that. This has to be happening a long time. You understand? And I'm saying, what if the police never run in at the time that they run in? Remember two people dead already when they run in? You know? What they would I do with them body there? What would become of them body then? What would have become are, are the remains? And the people them would get stabbed up. Which hospital them would have go? Which part them would have go get treatment? Because they would have go to the regular hospital. You know? That means this pastor have a system set up where they move body, them treat people, all of them something. Like See? We have forget say, them all said say, three police did in the church. And one of the police fire upon the police them when them forward. But we not hear nothing about that.
Oh, we not hear about the police officers them were, were, that were a part of the congregation when the woman choke gets slashed and the next person dead. Them forget charged for murder as well. People when I reach but this man in yet in a we not reach this 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 man in you know, stop focus on this man you know. we're gonna to get to this man but more on to pay attention leading up to this point i saw to get full understanding of things that's why i'm gonna talk about it from a day come here watch me i listen to the police them me i listen to the so-called members of the church me i listen to the news media and me i analyze everything that's why i'm gonna jump up and run in and talk Make we leave. That are the last thing. We have. Let's talk about events leading up to this. Next thing we we'll gonna find strange. The pastor get arrested along with more forty other people, right? He get arrested and then not go raid him house, one time house, till four days after. Are you serious? So we for sit down and think say that's good policing, right? That's good policing. So you hold this man yeah? for a crime scene, you have information to tell us him order a man to cut the woman through that are accessory to murder. Right, that's it. Zin, Uno get to understand so the man run a private cult. And Uno not going to read him out till four days after. And I can guarantee so him get phone call. So he can go clear up him house and clean out the house and send people to do whatever. Hmm? So that is good policing. Mr. Commissioner and Miss Lindsay, that are good policing. That's proper policing. No, let me just ask. These are simple questions. Just, just simple questions where we are overlooked. Next thing again. When them do decide to carry him, go rid the horse, because them claim say you have to there as witness to see what them are saying. This man was not in a police car. This man was in a private car. At that point, them have car in front and car behind him. But he was not in a police car, a regular police car. I like that about them topic here because me, I have been through the justice system. Why were you in a nice comfortable cushion police car why you never in a tough seat um regular police jeep them our go on our go on so it seems to me like from the get-go see you have been given special treatment It seems like from the beginning of your lockup, you have been given special treatment. You understand? So, from this, so, not now, add up. It now add up. See? You know, play with Jamaican people. It's like, it's like, People, I don't mean, like, I just want to believe me. I'm disappointed in Jamaica right now. The level of demonicness, the level of corruption within government and police, the amount uh, is like Jamaica at the devil playground right now, you know? But I did want to know, you know. Um, 
We are fast forward to a video where I'm in the jail cell now. Not jail cell, I'm in the hole in here. Now I'm going to handcuff. How would this call me? I'm going to take a call there now. Yeah, so I'm not in a handcuff. I'm sit down. I'm my reason, I'm my laugh, I'm my good joke, you know? Casually, like, you know? Like, I don't know, like, is a man that broke a shop? Or like, is a man that grab a chain? We are talking about a high level criminal where more than likely responsible for hundreds of deaths. See? We are talking about a high level high profile scammer homosexual clergyman man of the color very connected in the high places and only just casually have him sit down and cough him a drive in a private vehicle him 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 just it's a, only ever see when tesha miller got quoted Let me ask you something. Only ever see when Tesha Miller I got caught yet? Only ever see when black man I got caught yet? Only ever see when Vibes Cartel I got caught at hospital yet? Even when cartel got hospital and them a carrying back at the vehicle in handcuff. When black man a got caught on a circuit, the whole a town lock off. You can't even drive near the courthouse. All traffic diverted. When Tetra Miller them I got a quota, armored car, five, six, seven, armored car plus 20 a Jeep and beating. So me don't understand. Me, me don't know what I'm going. Me don't, me don't, me don't, me don't, me don't, me don't, me kind of, me kind of confused, like, me, me kind of confused. But we see more than one occasion where this man in the presence of the police without any um handcuff any restraint him not driving a police vehicle him are driving a nice tin top cushion camera or under ac or blue we don't know what going on at the car there no other prisoner not in there for tell us all right him did handcuff him did it. as him sit down in them go take off him handcuff give him kfc give him whatever he want I'm just saying, I'm just speaking on what we are seeing. And this is before this morning. All of what I talk about now are before this morning. You understand what I'm saying? So, only one reason about this morning now. <laughs> what do we talk about this money? Okay, let's reason about this money. A lot of questions have been raised about this money. One of the main questions raised about this money is um, why was he coming to Kingston when the crime occurred in Montego Bay? On more than one occasion, multiple times, Cases have been transferred from rural Jamaica to the High Court, Circuit Court in Kingston. Um, it's not unusual for cases to be transferred. So that question is easily answered. It, that's normality for cases to be transferred from rural Jamaica to the High Court, um, Circuit Court in Kingston. What is not the norm is for the type of care where this man did inner. You understand? 
them usually use IS bus or them use the jail truck, the big jail truck where every man locking at them own compartment. Zeal. So you can't you hardly can't move in at that. When you're in that you can't even move. You can't return good. You're uncomfortable. Now the care in question today is not the norm. That's a red flag. See? Next red flag is we're speaking about Jamaica. This happened on the Bagua main road, right? You're going to tell me, Futa Hype, O'Neill Thomas, somebody with a brain, somebody who has experience of the Jamaican roadway, because enough people never got Jamaica yet, so they don't know. You are in an accident. Miss Lindsay said in her speech a while ago, just watching the news, that there were nine police officers in the convoy three of which were in the car with him. Now, Miss Lindsay, I find that hard to believe. I'm not saying you're lying, but I find that hard to believe because the Jamaica that I know and the piece of roadway that we are speaking of is not an empty road. At nine something in the morning is not an empty road. So if there's a police convoy, if there are nine police, three is in the car with the prisoner, that means six other police officers are in other vehicle. I am calculating that there's one vehicle in front of the, the subject vehicle and there's one behind the subject vehicle. Now, if the subject vehicle, which is in the middle, meets into difficulty and overturns, as you people are saying. That's big excitement. Now, it's almost critical that if the subject vehicle suddenly overturns, then the vehicle in question behind the subject vehicle is going to have difficulty not running into that vehicle and not running into another vehicle or meeting an accident as well. So, that would spark some attention Boom, the car they turn over. The car behind it have to swing or go some other way to escape other accident. Then, because it's a detail, it's a convoy, the car in front, I think got end up stopped by them here, that big crash there. Then police, they have to run out to come secure the prisoner. The car behind, as soon as it gained control, those officers would also have to step out, deploy out of the car, figure secure the injured officers plus the main subject, which is the criminal. Now, the Jamaica that I know, everybody have a phone. Phone vehicle them, and the hunger vehicle them, they pump bag walk bypass at 9 a.m. in the morning. Today is Monday. To the name Monday. Oh, Miss Lindsay explained to me. Oh, there is no pictures, no video, no evidence circulating nowhere on social media of the officer.